Okay, so welcome to Math Story, ah, and let's solve this problem. So the cash flow of ordinary annuity. Then we have this given the yearly payment of fifteen thousand pesos for five years with interest rate eight percent compounded annually. Since the periodic payment is yearly and the interest rate compounded annually, so therefore this one is an example. Of simple or ordinary annuity. So to make a cash flow for this problem, so we have this the payments and the periods. Since the time or the terms is five years, so we have zero, one, two, three, four, five. Then the periodic payment that's fifteen thousand pesos yearly. So we need to pay 15,000 pesos for every year. Then using the compound interest formula, thus the future value is equal to the periodic payment, quantity 1 plus J, that's the interest per period, and N, that's the number of periods, where N is equal to the compounding period times the time, and J, that's the rate over the compounding period, since compounded annually, so therefore, M is equal to 1. So to solve for N, so M, M is 1, times the time, time is 5, so therefore, N is equal to 5. And to solve for the rate per period, so R, so that's the rate, 8% in decimal, that's 0 0.08. So we have 0 0.08 over M, M is 1, so the interest per period is 0 0.08. So to solve now for the values for 1 year, 2 years, 3 years, 4 years, and 5 years from this formula, so we just need to subtract 1 from N. So for 1 year, P, that's the periodic payment, that's 15,000 pesos times 1 plus J, J is 0 0.08, and again, n minus 1. Since n is equal to 5, so minus 1, that's equal to 4. Then for second year, so for n minus 2, so we have p, that's 15,000 pesos times 1, plus 0 0.08 to the power, so 5 minus 2, that's 3. And for the third year, on this case, minus 3 for N, so we have P, that's 15,000 pesos times 1 plus J, J is 0 0.08 to the power 2, so minus 3 for N. And for fourth year, so minus 4 for N, so that's 15,000 pesos times 1 plus 0 0.08 to the power 1. And for the P year, that's 5, so minus 5 for N, so this becomes 0, so therefore for P year, that's 15,000 pesos. Because any number raised to 0 is equal to 1, so this becomes 1 plus 0 0.08 to the power 0, and this uh, any number raised to 0, that's always equal to 1. So this is now the cash flow. Then to find the future value, we just need to simplify these equations. So for year 1, we have this 15,000 pesos times this uh, combined these two numbers, 1.08. Then to the power, positive 4, equals, so that's 20,407.33. So this one is 20,407.33. Uh, then for a uh, second year, so we have this 15,000 pesos times 1.08, then to the power 3, 
equals, so that's 18,895.68. So, 18,895.68 for year 3. So, this uh, 15,000 pesos times 1.08, 10 to the power 2, equals, so that's 17,496. So, 17,496. And for year 4, so we have this 15,000 pesos times this 1.08. So, to the power 1 or simply 1.08 equals, so that's 16,200. So, this one is 16,200. Then this, 15,000. So, to find out the future value, so we just need to add all these numbers. So, we have this 15,000 plus 16,200 plus 17,496 plus 18,895.68. Plus 20,407.33 equals, so we have 87,999.01. So this is now the future value of this ordinary annuity, 87,999.01 pesos. So this is now the cash flow of this ordinary annuity problem.